Hi, I'm Kristen Amdahl and welcome back to my studio and channel. In this video, I want to show you how to take a couple of balls of DK weight yarn and transform them into this gorgeous rectangular wrap that can be worn a bunch of different ways using some simple knit stitches and then an even simpler crochet edging. The Rendezvous Free Knit Lace Shawl Knitting Pattern with Crochet Fringe. This gorgeous knit lace shawl is the perfect wrap to cover your shoulders for a night out on the town. Once blocked, the easy to knit lace stitch pattern really blossoms and the drape of the yarn has great movement when you walk. The fringe adds some body to help the shawl stay in place. This rectangular wrap can also easily be converted into a poncho with a well-placed clip or button. It also doubles as a voluminous scarf or wrapped cowl, and you could also sew up partial seams for a sleeved shrug. Please refer to the pattern on my website for charts and written instructions, as well as information on how to adjust the multiple of this stitch pattern to convert it into a scarf, a rectangular wrap, or a throw. Let's get started. Okay, so the pattern has a multiple of nine plus four and the selvage edge is two stitches per side. So that means that we're going to cast on a multiple of nine, then add four, then add an additional four. So depending on whether you're making the scarf, the shawl, or a blanket or throw, the number of stitches you cast on may be different. However, you're going to cast on the same way no matter what, and that's going to be starting with a slip knot. And then we're going to, that's going to count as our first stitch. And then we're going to do the knit cast on technique, which is to insert your needle into that first stitch, pull up a loop and slide that loop onto the left hand needle as well. And we're going to knit cast on for however many stitches you need, depending on which of the projects you're making in a multiple of nine plus four plus four. I'm doing a reduced size sample for the tutorial, but I have still cast on in a multiple of what I needed. And then this is what your cast on should look like. You want to knit two rows even. So we're just going to knit every stitch across for two rows. This is what your work should look like after the two setup rows of just plain knitting across. The first row of the actual stitch pattern begins with a knit four. And then you'll notice on the written instructions that there's an asterisk after that, and that's because that's the beginning of the repeat. The repeat is yarn over, knit two, slip slip knit, which is a type of a decrease, left slanting decrease. And then the next one is a knit two together, which is a right slanting decrease. Knit two, yarn over, and knit one. And then it says to repeat from the asterisk across. So that is the repeat that we will repeat across the row until we get to the last four stitches. So we'll go back to the asterisk, yarn over, knit two, slip slip knit, knit two together, knit two, yarn over, knit one. Okay, so if you're doing more repeats than I am for this smaller swatch, you would keep repeating that from the asterisk across until you get to the last four stitches of your row, and the last four stitches we knit all of them. Then row two, is our wrong side row, and it starts with knit two. Then we're going to purl across to the last two stitches. So we'll purl all the way across until we get to the last two. Now remember on the previous row, we did some regular knit stitches, we did some yarn overs, we did various decreases. When it says to purl across, that means purl every stitch and purl every yarn over they are all considered stitches. And when we get to the last two stitches, we will knit the last two. And then we'll turn our work. 
And now we're ready to do row three of the stitch pattern. Row three begins with a knit five. And then there's an asterisk marking that the next section is what we will repeat across the row. And it is yarn over, knit two, slip slip knit, knit two together, knit two, yarn over, knit one. And that's what we will repeat from the asterisk across the row until we get to the last three stitches. So we're gonna go back to the asterisk, yarn over, knit two, slip slip knit, knit two together, knit two, yarn over, knit one, and you wanna repeat from the asterisk across your row for as many repeats as you're doing until you get to the last three stitches and then we knit the last three stitches. Row four is a repeat of row two, so we will knit the first two stitches, then purl across to the last two stitches, and then we knit the last two stitches. And that's our four row repeat, and we're going to repeat those last four rows for the desired length of your scarf, shawl, or throw, and then I'll show you how we finish, off, finish up and bind off. And then at the very end of the video, I'll show you how we make the beautiful fringe. I did one more repeat of the stitch pattern so you could see how the pattern's starting to come together, but obviously you'll want to repeat these four rows for whatever desired length you're making. Then at the end of the pattern, you're going to knit two rows before binding off. So we'll knit across all stitches for two rows. And then we're doing a very loose bind off to replicate the stretchy cast on that we did. The knit cast on technique that we used is very stretchy, which is great for lace. And to do a complementary stretchiness in the bind off, we're going to do a yarn over bind off, which starts with a knit one, then yarn over, knit the next stitch, and then you want to pick up that yarn over and first stitch and pull them up and over the second stitch, and that's the yarn, that's the bind off. So then we'll repeat from the yarn over. So it's yarn over, knit the next stitch, then pick up the yarn over and first stitch and pull them up and over the second stitch. And we're going to repeat this all the way across. When we come to the last stitch, you want to cut your yarn and fasten off. Now you can, obviously this is so much smaller than the actual size shawl, obviously, but if you had your full size shawl right now, you might want to block it first. And I'll show you a photo of when I blocked the finished shawl with shawl pins or uh, with blocking pins and with the blocking wires. And that helps you to recognize where the stitches are, but it's pretty easy to see them here too. So I'm gonna show you how to crochet the edging onto this. And even if you've never crocheted before, this is so easy to do that um, I feel confident that you'll be able to do this. The thing is, is recognizing where the stitches are and you can pretty easily see where the stitches are here. I just prefer not to work into one loop. I prefer to come down a little deeper into the edge and at least work my crochet hook into two loops or two strands of the yarn. So first we start by tying our yarn to our crochet hook. And again, this couldn't be easier, even if you've never crocheted before, you can do this. So we're gonna start with a slip stitch. So we're gonna insert our crochet hook into that first stitch, the beginning of the row. We're doing this on the cast on edge and on the bind off edge separately. Insert your crochet hook, pull a loop through, and then pull the loop through the loop on your hook too. That's a slip stitch. And then we're going to chain 15. Just pull a loop through the loop, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
and we're now going to single crochet in the third chain from our hook. We don't count the loop on our hook, so we'll count back one, two, three. Insert your crochet hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. And so by single crocheting in that third chain, we end up having what they call a chain three pico, which is like having a little bead or a little cluster at the center lower edge of the chain fringe. We're going to chain 12 now. And then coming back down to our cast on or bind off edge of the shawl, whichever one you're working on, and we're going to insert our cro crochet hook into the next stitch along that edge and slip stitch. So yarn over, pull the loop through the stitch on the shawl and through the hook, loop on your hook. And our first chain fringe is done. I'll show you how to do that again. Chain 15. Single crochet into the third chain from our hook. One, two, three. Chain 12. And then coming back down to the shawl, slip stitch into the next stitch. And you want to repeat that all the way across this side of the shawl and then repeating it again on the other side. And I'll show you what that looks like on our beautiful finished shawl here. We have that chain fringe along the cast on edge. And then we have it again on the bind off edge. So pretty, so simple, and so, so beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything we talked about today, please leave them for me in the comments. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.